I'm Khurshid Ahmed from India. I am suffering from pain in from my leg, so I cannot go in the Mataf and other space. It is a very large space to uh, do the Tawaf, but it is very easy. Easy my Umrah, Tawaf and Sai. It is very useful. Oh guys, so for today, we're going to show you how to use the, the buggy system for your parents. If you have elderly parents or if you're coming to Umrah alone and you fear that uh, you're not going to be able to perform the Umrah because you're not able to walk, we're going to show you exactly how to get the buggy. And uh, let a brother Ali lead the way for this one. Okay, inshallah, inshallah. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What we're doing today, like uh, brother Rafi just mentioned, is it's literally for those people that have a lot of fear. So we, I get a lot of people contacting me with a bit of fear. They may not be able to perform Umrah. What facilities are there? Uh, how can this be done? Also, some of the people that want to come for Umrah, they have family members with them for support, but they feel that they're burdening uh, their family members. And for this reason, uh, we're going to show you a way where you can come and uh, perform your own Umrah. Of course, if you can walk and do your Umrah and your Tawaf, it's better for you to walk and do it. But for those that are in special needs in terms of wheelchair users, people with disabilities that can't walk, um, this is one of the best methods to do your Umrah, to do your Tawaf, uh, voluntary Tawaf on a daily basis if you want. And we'll show you how to go around, how to get it done and where to go. So obviously, brothers and sisters, you can see I'm not in my Ihram garments, right? You don't need to be in your Ihram garments, obviously, when you're coming to do voluntary Tawaf. But for the sake of this vlog, Alhamdulillah, they've allowed us to come through and uh, show you guys how the uh, whole Umrah process will be done. Obviously, Mel's, you'll be wearing your Ihram garments. This is what the Ihram condition looks like, by the way. Yes, <laughs> Alhamdulillah. This is what all the Mel's wear. So if you can see behind me, there's gate 70 to 71, right, of the masjid. Right near gate 70 to 71 of the masjid, you'll see this section here, right, where all these scooters are, right? There's, these are the prices for the buggies, right? These are single, so this is for a single person, right? Uh, just for Sa'i, if you want to do just Sa'i, uh, it's 57.50 uh, riyals. Tawaf only is 57.50 riyals. The full Umrah for a single cart is 115 riyals. We're going to go for the double obviously because we're going to be together. And we're going to pay 230 riyals for the full Umrah. Oh, you can pay by card, and you can pay by cash. Um, so to make it a bit more efficient for you guys. So these are the brothers, alhamdulillah, that have allowed us especially myself, to go and do the full Umrah, just to show how it's done. Uh, may Allah SWT bless them. They're always working over here. And Alhamdulillah, they speak quite a few languages. Uh, so you can come here. Uh, it's easily accessible for you through these brothers, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Also, the whole masjid is actually wheelchair accessible. They have ramps everywhere. So it's really easy for you to perform your Umrah yeah. for everyone. And also, if you don't want to go through this option, you can also use the brothers uh, that are around with the wheelchairs. They'll do this journey and help you on this journey for about 200, 250 riyal. However, the situation is it will be at their pace. So your duas and whatnot will be at their pace. When you do it this way, everything is at your own pace. There is no deadline for you to return the, the scooter or whatnot. You can do it in your own time. So we hop on the buggy. I know. Yeah. Start? Yep. Yes, it's it. This is star. Okay. Say. Break automatic. Yes. Okay. Automatic break. Up my hand. Breaks. As long as you let go, okay. it breaks. Okay. So, start. this yep. is your start. As you can see, you push it down. Yep. If you let go of it, it stops itself. Right? So, Alhamdulillah. And you can just steer normally. And you can just stay like this. Yeah, obviously. Alhamdulillah. So, as you can see, it's super easy to uh, steer this buggy. Yeah, do it with one hand. 230 riyal, how much yeah. is that in pounds or in Canadian dollars? Uh, 230 riyals is equivalent 40, of about 40 quid. 40 quids? Yeah, 40, 40 quid. 40 quids. Um, and it's well worth it, to be yeah. honest with you. Uh, for a lot of people that struggle, this is a way for you now to come and do your Umrah uh, with ease. And there's no excuses. Yeah, there's no focus excuses. on your Umrah. You know focus. Your... Yeah, exactly. And you've got as much time as you want on these buggies. As you can see, they don't move too fast as well. We, uh, there's yeah. a limiter on them, alhamdulillah. So. We'll most probably be here for an hour, hour and a half. So there's um, this whole ramp that leads up to the masjid. So 
You don't have to worry about any like staircases or any escalators. This is built specifically for these uh, buggies as well. Yeah. All right, you want to continue your labbaik? Labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik, inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika laka. From a lot of the opinions of the scholars, alhamdulillah, is also that it doesn't lessen your rewards. Obviously, as long as you're sincere in why you're doing it and why you're using this buggy instead of walking, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows our intentions. Yeah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you guys uh, and bless you all with the ease to be able to come and perform your umrah. So as you can see here, this whole ramp is just for the buggies. Yeah, this, this is only for buggies, right? So now you can see, we will, uh, be, you got to be careful around this as you're entering because Obviously, there's other buggies coming across. However, Alhamdulillah, as you can see, it's quite safe. And the people down there are doing the tawaf. That way, you're not interfering with the people that are walking. And what a beautiful, majestic sight it always is. Right, so uh, a lot of people have a stigma uh, about using buggies, wheelchairs, uh, while performing Umrah. However, the Prophet Sallallahu is mentioned performing Umrah on a camel. Yeah. Uh, of course, we're in uh, the 21st century now and uh, things are a bit more adapted and a bit more different. These are like our electronic camels now. Yeah. So here, look, so if you see this point over here, so as you can see, the green light, just like on the ground floor, that indicates the beginning of Tawaf. That shows where Hajra Aswat is. All right, so this is where we begin our Tawaf. Bismillahu Allahu Akbar. Oh, we damn. actually reverse. <laughs> oh, damn, we'll just figure it out you can reverse. Whoa, we'll just figure this out. Wow. Lovely. We just got given a, a handful of dates, well, two packets of dates while we're doing tawaf. And uh, this being because it's a Monday and it's a sunnah day to fast, subhanAllah. Wow. All right, we've reached the, the black stone, the green light, and tawaf begins again. Bismillah, wallahu akbar. Bismillah, So, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah we've, completed our tawaf. we've completed our tawaf. Now we'll come around here. We'll perform two rakat as close as possible behind uh, Maqam Ibrahim, facing the Qibla. Let's right, go so drink zamzam. After zam. two rakats, we're going to go and drink zamzam, of course, over your head, because that was a sunnah. Yep. All right, let's do that. And it's literally right next to you. Yeah. So you will come here and drink the zamzam. What have we just done there? Pour some water on my head. Why? Because it's sunnah. We've All done right. our tawaf. What's the next step? We're going to do sa'i. Sa'i. Now, alhamdulillah, our tawaf is over and you'll be able to see as you go around. There's signs everywhere. You'll see a sign saying to masa. So it says in Urdu, sa'i ke liye. Sa'i ke liye. Yeah. So, now we're going to masa. And you take off the slip road. Salah is about to start, so Alhamdulillah, we'll be able to park up, pray Salah, and we'll continue inshallah. How do we accelerate? So right before the green lights, what I like to do on the buggies, take a little bit slow, right? So drop the speed a little bit, making your duas. And then obviously for men, when, when you come the down lights. to the green lights, you want to speed up a bit, right? Because uh, we're supposed to be running or pacing up. So now, pace up, making out the walls, of course. And it's about a 50 meter distance. Once that distance is over. You slow back down? And you slow back down slightly. Slightly? Slightly. All right, all the way to Marwa. All the way to Marwa. And same thing back from Marwa to Safa. And same thing back from Marwa to Safa. You okay? Sometimes accidents do happen. Sometimes they do, but you just got to be calm. Yeah. Uh, well, not major accidents. It's just someone clipping your, um, your, buggy. your buggy from behind. Remember to be patient. You're doing your Umrah. And of course, you know, there's no point screaming and shouting as someone that's trying to do the same thing. It's an accident. Yeah, okay. Look past it. And forgive you continue, them. you forgive them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because what we're here for, most importantly, is forgiveness. Because that's what's going to take us to Jannah. 
a clean slate, right? Exactly. So you start your Sari at Safa and you want to end your Sari at Marwa. So yeah. if for some reason your Sari ends at Safa, then you probably did something wrong. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And then after that, obviously for the men, you shave your head. You can cut your hair, you trim your hair, but there's more reward in uh, completely shaving. And of course, for the women, you trim just a little bit and that's it. Your Umrah is complete. You're out of your state of ihram and then uh, you go home. May Allah accept all your uh, Umrahs, your Duas. So here's the exit at Marwa. Uh, you just uh, follow the ramp there. So this is the exit ramp uh, when you're done your Sari. But this is where the ramp leads to. Just follow the ramp, park your buggy, enjoy the views. So once you're done your Sari from Marwa, the ramp leads to here. And then you just get off and they park the buggy for you. And that's it, you're done. We make vlog with you? Yes, yes, come, come, come. No, no, no. Come. This, 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 I'm Hamad. This. Come, man, we make vlog. No, this, no problem. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.